Hey everybody, welcome to another Good E-Reader video tutorial. This is Marcus. Today we're going to take a look at the Barnes & Noble, the Simple Touch Reader, and this is the latest e-reader from Barnes & Noble. If you want to learn more about this device, please check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash user slash goodyreader or our blog at goodyreader.com slash blog. We have full hands-on reviews as well as a ton of video tutorials teaching you how to use this device. The purpose of today's tutorial is to teach you how to load EPUB and PDF ebooks to your Barnes & Noble Nook, a simple touch reader. So you can see that we do have it plugged in via USB and you can see here that there's a little green light on and we have the micro USB plugged into our computer you can also see that we have a little dialog that's popped up here and that allows us to facilitate data we're going to show you how to copy ebooks using Caliber, Adobe Digital Editions and good old Windows Explorer and we'll point out along the way why you would want to use those particular products so the first thing that we want to use is Caliber. Caliber is an open source free program. It allows you a greater flexibility in managing your ebook reader as well as your ebook library. Some people have anywhere between 10 and thousands of books on their device. When you have that many, you need a little bit of management in order to find the books you want to find effectively. So we have a book here called Dreams of Joy by Lisa C. And we're going to edit the metadata and point out some things here. Using Caliber, it allows you to change any of the details regarding author, title, series, as well as the title and author sort. These, this is how it would appear on your e-reader as far as the title and the author name. So you would look under the S in order to find this book. If you wanted to find it under the L, you can just change it. As well as it tells you that it is an EPUB format. You can change, again, the cover art, ISBN number, anything else. In a lot of cases, say when you just download ebooks from the internet from various websites, a lot of the times the title maybe will have a bunch of hyphens in it, or the author's name would have been the book uploader's name, or misspelled. And so using Caliber allows you to correct a lot of that. What we want to do is copy this ebook now to our Simple Touch Reader. You can see here that there is a picture of an older version of the Nook with one of the latest caliber updates that gives you connectivity for the Simple Touch Reader. So when we click on the device, you can see here that there's only one book on our device. And so what we want to do is copy that ebook by Lisa C here. So you want to go to left click on add ebooks and add ebooks from a single directory. And right on our desktop, we have our EPUB book here. We're adding the book. You can see here that there's a little check mark, and that's an indication that the book was successfully copied to our e-reader. Now, at the end of this tutorial, we'll verify that each and every one of these books was correctly copied to it. So this is a tutorial on Caliber. The next thing we want to do is use Adobe Digital Editions. The reason why you would want to use Adobe Digital Editions with your Simple Touch Reader is if you've purchased ebooks from other bookstores other than Barnes & Noble. So because the Simple Touch Reader uses EPUBs, which is a very popular ebook format, it allows you to comparatively shop at such certain stores such as Kobo, Borders, Smashwords, BookBaby, a ton of other sites that use protected content. So when you purchase books from other sites, they have DRM or digital rights management. What this means is the book is encrypted with a certain level of technology. And so the Adobe Digital Editions facilitates copying encrypted ebooks from your PC to your e-reader. And incidentally, it also does borrowed books. So if you use OverDrive or other software to borrow books from public libraries, you can also use Adobe Digital Editions to facilitate copying books that you've borrowed to your device. So you can see here that there is a picture of a Nook and it says Nook and that means that the computer is recognized as an e-reader. What we want to do is copy an e-book. So what we want to do is click on the library tab and add item to library and we want to copy the book Passion by Lauren Kate. So you can see that the book is here under all items, but when we look at the Nook, it's nothing there. So what we want to do is left click so we can drag it around, and you can see that there's a little X arrow here. 
So we scroll down and suddenly the arrows turn green because we're highlighting it over the nook and we're simply just going to release the left click on our mouse. And here's the book here. So this has successfully been copied to our e-reader and you can see that we have a total of three books on our device. It shows you the cover art and everything else. We're good to go. The last thing we want to do is use Windows Explorer. So what I want to do is go down to my Nook here, and you can see here in our Nook, which is on our iDrive because we have a number of hard drives and other devices on our computer, we see various things like screensavers, my files, digital editions, and so on. So when we check the digital editions directory, you actually see that this is the ebook that we copied here, so it's nice and organized. And then when you click on My Files, you see certain directories like books, documents, magazines, and newspapers. So obviously, we're looking to copy an ebook over. So here is our ebook here. There's two here. This is the one we originally copied to the device. This is the one that we copied over via Caliber. So what we simply want to do is just drag and drop another book to our, um, to our Nook Reader. So we have a book here, Tom Clancy, Against All Enemies, and what we want to do is we can simply right, uh, left click and just drag and drop it. Alternatively, you can right click, click copy, right click again and click paste. And now the book is official in our device. If you want to say you have five or ten books by Tom Clancy because he is a popular author that wrote a lot of books you can simply just create a new directory on your e-reader by clicking new folder and then clicking writing on you know your keyboard Tom Clancy and then you can just drag and drop the book in here it's probably more effective if you're going to be using Windows Explorer to sort of maintain this directory structure. Certainly with popular authors like Lisa C. and Tom Clancy, they have written a number of books, so you might want to kind of create directories for each and every author. Um, in addition, as a little bonus to this tutorial, you can see that there is screensavers here. And what these are is simply GIFs, PNGs, and BMPs. If you want to put your own screensaver in there, you can simply just copy and paste any picture from your PC, and despite the fact that it might be a full color picture, you it will appear as e-ink. So you can see it's a PNG file. The width is 1500 pixels wide and 1002 pixels in height. Now maybe let's uh, take a look at another picture here. So this one is 720 by 480. So I would probably recommend that pictures will get shown depending on the size and the scale. So here's all the pictures sort of on our device. So the resolution on the e-reader is 800 by 600, so that's probably the most ideal in terms of your picture showing up effectively. So that's just a little bit of a bonus here. Again, my files, books, and that's where your books are copied. So what we want to do now is unplug the Simple Touch Reader from our computer. And because it's running Android, it kind of has like a slider that you would use. Okay, now we want to click on the Nook, the little N there, and then go to Library. And then you can see here is Against All Enemies, the Tom Clancy book that we copied, as well as Dreams of Joys by Lisa C. and Passion by Laura Kate. So all of these books have been copied to our device and I've just loaded up Passion here. So you can see page turn speeds, very good. Uh, you can turn pages by swiping and there's also little buttons here that you can uh, do. Uh, 
page forward, page back, and via menu options, you can alternatively change these. So uh, here we go. This is our ebook reader, and this is some, one of the ebooks that we've copied to it. So, just to sum everything up in this tutorial, we've copied EPUB books via Calibre, Adobe Digital Editions, and Windows Explorer, and pointed out all the reasons why you would want to use those particular programs. So, hopefully, you found this tutorial uh, useful and insightful. My name is Marcus. You have just listened to a Goody Reader exclusive video tutorial. Everybody, take care.